Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, schizophrenic. So, recovery. I don't like the word. Um, because I feel like it gives, like, false hope. <laughs> um, I don't think, I mean, you don't really recover from a mental disorder. Like, it's not going anywhere. Um, I mean, my schizophrenia definitely isn't. And if yours has, awesome to you. Um, but I don't really like the idea of recovery because what does that mean? Does that mean that you won't need medication? Does that mean you'll be able to live by yourself? Does that mean you won't be in a mental institution of some sort? Like, what does recovery mean? And I, I don't know because that would be, you know, different to every person. And at the end of the day, though, I, I talk to so many different people with mental disorders and myself even, you know, what does recovery look like? Like, what would it look like for me? I don't know. Um, not feeling suicidal all the time. Um, being able to live alone. Um, I, I, I don't know. So I, it's just weird. Um, I just feel like the word itself, it, it's... It's not good. Um, it just gives so many people false hope of, well, one day I'll be recovered from this thing. But there's nothing to be recovered from. You know, you didn't get depression, you didn't get bipolar, anything else like that, because you got sick. I mean, it's not like you're gonna, you know, suddenly get better. With me, I like to view schizophrenia as just like a neutral. It's not good or bad. Okay, it's just what it is. And I can't really come back. Now, I can recover from, let's say, a really bad episode, but I can't recover from schizophrenia. It's not going anywhere. I think, you know, a lot of people get so frustrated and they're in and out of, um, whether it's like uh, medications, programs, um, hospitals, and they're just in like that vicious cycle. Um, because they have like these false ideas of what recovery looks like and it's not normal. It's not, you know, being without a mental disorder. What it is though, is learning how to manage it, learning how to manage, um, depressive episodes, learning how to manage, um, you know, hallucinations, learning how to manage, you know, urges to um, hurt yourself with self harm. That's what it is. So for instance, with me, will I ever recover? No, no, because there's nothing for me to recover from, but I do have to constantly be on my toes, learning how to manage it, learning how to manage, you know, new hallucinations, learning how to manage um, my depression, which just continues to spiral. And I think it's hard because a lot of times we look, you know, at other people and you're like, well, they have schizophrenia, they have bipolar, they have depression, and like, look how great their life is. Um, I get it with me all the time. Uh, people will message me being like, you can't possibly be schizophrenic because you talk too, too clearly. You know, I'm like, okay, it's, yeah, disorganized thoughts, behavior, and speech is part of schizophrenia, but it's not part of it 24 seven, and I only make videos when I'm in a good state. Um, but, it's easy to look at other people and think, oh my God, they have it together. Um, and, and you don't really know. Um, you, you have really no idea what that person is going through. And while you might look at them and think like, they have it together, I want to be in their spot. You, you really don't know. Some of us are just man better at managing certain parts of our lives than, than other parts. So you can easily, you know, if you only see one part of my life and I got that on lock, you're like, oh, wow, Rachel has everything together. Like, no, I have this one thing. One thing right there. <laughs> so 